Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 23rd series of uh, uh, Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. In this video, we are going to see about uh, protein tertiary structure prediction. Uh, in the syllabus, it is given as uh, how will you determine the structure prediction of proteins. So, uh, protein structure uh, prediction is by different methods. One is uh, homology modeling. Assume that we have a raw primary sequence of target protein. You can do a blast with the PDB database and what are the proteins which are similar to this. So it is called uh, study similar things if available. Suppose there is another sequence which is similar to your sequence where the protein is already deposited. Then that is called homology modeling. Note if the tertiary structure is not available then homology modeling cannot be used. So let us see an example for this. So I in the, you can get the sequences from National Library of Medicine. Suppose I have taken a sequence. So some sequence I have, I don't know the structure. It is a linear uh, connection of amino acids. Primary, even uh, I don't know the what is the structure. Then you can in the NIH, you can take basic local alignment search tool, BLAST. So by blasting with the, the pro protein uh, sequence, you may get the different proteins. So uh, that blast connects with the PDB. What are the structures which are similar to the sequences of your target query? So similar structure search, if it is available, then you can go for homology modeling. Next is threading. Assume that we have a raw primary sequence uh, of the target protein, which I am going to work for drug discovery. So blast with the PDB database. So similar protein structures are not available in the database. Then you go for threading. If it is available, then you go for homology modeling. If the tertiary structure is not available, then threading can be used. But there is one condition. If the tertiary structure of the loops are known, only then threading method could be used. Next is so from this as we have seen earlier i have a target sequence i can do a blast that is a basic local alignment search tool protein blast in the pdb uh, it connects with the pdb protein data bank so similar structures are not available but this threading method can be used only if the tertiary structure of the loops are available next is ab initio method Assume that we have a raw primary sequence of a target protein blast with the PDB database. Similar protein structures are not available in the database. If the tertiary structure is not available, then threading can be used. But if the tertiary structure of the loops are also not known, only then ab initio method could be used. So I have a target sequence. I can blast, do a protein blast. It searches the PDB data bank. So similar structures are not available then used only if the tertiary structure of the loops are also not available then this method is called ab initio method it is you can start from the scratch that is called ab initio method it is a greek word some of the databases to be known before uh, studying the methods of protein prediction so one is protein data bank the protein data bank is a worldwide repository that collects and provides access to experimentally determine the three dimensional structures of biological macromolecules, primarily the proteins and nucleic acids. It is an essential resource for researchers in structural biology, bioinformatics, and related fields. Uh, it offers a vast collection of structural information that can be used to study the function, interactions, and mechanisms of these biomolecules. It is an open access database for the researchers then uniprot or swissprot uniprot or swissprot is a comprehensive and freely accessible database and that provides information about proteins from all domains of life it is a collaborative effort uh, between the european bioinformatics institute and swiss institute of bioinformatics and the protein information resource it serves as a fundamental resource for studying protein function evolution structure and the interactions in the context of various biological processes and 
diseases. Next is NCBI BLAST. The basic local alignment search tool, commonly known as BLAST, is a widely used bioinformatics tool uh, for comparing a query sequence against a database of known sequences. BLAST helps researchers identify homologous sequences, discover the functional and structural similarities, and infer evolutionary relationships between the biological sequences. Bla there are different kinds of BLAST. BLAST P protein query against a protein database, BLAST N nucleotide query against a nucleotide database, BLAST X translated nucleotide query against a protein database, BLAST T BLAST N protein query against a translated nucleotide database, T BLAST X translated nucleotide query against a translated nucleotide database. Next, there are some tools to visualize the proteins. Uh, PDBSum is a web-based resource program. It provides a comprehensive and interactive summary of uh, 3D structural information from the protein data bank. It offers an easy to navigate interface for exploring protein structures, their annotations, making it as a valuable tool for researchers in structural biology and related fields. Uh, users can access the PDB sum through its website and perform structural searches using PDB IDs. Uh, it, uh, it's a tool which provides a detailed graphical summaries for each protein structure, making it easy to interpret and analyze the structural information of interest. Next is Swiss PDB Viewer. The Swiss PDB Viewer, also known as a Deep View, is a user friendly and widely used molecular visualization uh, software designed for interactive display and analysis of protein structures. It is developed by Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics and is freely available for academic and non-commercial use. It provides a user-friendly interface and a range of tools for studying the structural aspects of proteins, ligand binding and protein dynamics and protein ligand interactions. Next is uh, protein structure alignment. It is a uh, vast Vast, it is a vector alignment search tool. It's a computational algorithm developed by NCBI that performs protein structure comparisons and its alignments. It's primarily used to identify similarities, structural homology between the protein structures, uh, identifies the evolutionary relationships, and functional similarities among proteins. Vast is uh, particularly useful when the sequence similarity between the proteins is low or absent but still it is required for research, then we can go for VAST. Uh, it is widely used for functional annotation, the discovery of distant homologs, and understanding protein evolution and structure function relationships. Then a protein domain architecture database, CDD. It is a conserved domain database developed by NCBIs. Uh, it is used for conserved uh, protein domains and functional sites found in the proteins. It offers valuable insights into the evolutionary relationships uh, between different protein families. Next is uh, PLIP. It is used to study the protein ligand interaction studies. PLIP is a bioinformatics tool developed by Structural in Bioinformatics Group at the Texti Universität Dresden in Germany. PLIP is designed to analyze and visualize interactions between the protein structures and the ligands, that is the small molecules obtained from the PDB. The next is LigPlot. LigPlot is a software tool uh, commonly used in uh, structural bioinformatics and molecular visualization for analyzing and visualizing the protein ligand interactions in 3D space. It was developed by Dr. Andrew C. Wallace and Dr. Jeffrey R. Barton at the University of Dundee, UK. LigPlot is freely available for academic and uh, non-commercial use. It can be downloaded and installed locally on the user systems, allowing uh, for offline analysis of protein ligand complexes. So it's a very short information of uh, the structure prediction of uh, the proteins. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. If you like this uh, video, kindly press the like button. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. Follow all the updates and score well in your principles of drug discovery exam.